Welcome to our tutorial on buy-in lines. Buy-in lines are also called support lines and as a stock market trader they're usually one of the first and one of the most important patterns that you will learn. The reason why they're so important is once you know how to draw one of these lines and how to use it you can very quickly work out what price to pay for the shares. This video will teach you how to draw a buy-in line by telling you what things you need to look for and once you've drawn one how to use it as well. A gentle reminder, please do view our candlestick tutorial prior to watching this video, otherwise it might not make too much sense. But we appreciate your time and I hope you enjoy the video. This is a representation of a stock market chart. Each of the little red lines represents the share price going down for one day and each of the green lines represents the share price going up for the day. If this was a real chart, what we'd want to do is work out where we want to buy these shares, what price to pay. What we are looking for is when the market goes down, hits a low point and then goes higher. The low points are the ones that we're interested in when we're drawing these lines. The market went down, hit a low point and then it bounced higher. So that again is where we want to be looking at for drawing our buy lines, our horizontal buy lines. On the same chart what we have done is we've drawn the trend lines across, we've connected some of the low points and extended a line outwards so the market hit a low point and it bounced higher. On this occasion the market went lower so what we do is we look for the next low point. Now the market hit a low, it then bounced higher so what we do is we draw a trend line across, it hit exactly the same price on that line and then it bounced higher so you might have paid a pound a share around here and then the market goes higher and you might be able to sell for £1.8 a share for a profit and that is pretty much how these horizontal buy lines work. So let's quickly recap a few points. When it comes to drawing horizontal buy lines we need to look for the lowest point of down moves so the market must bounce after. Then what you need to do is you need a second low point at the same price. It doesn't work with just one low point. Once you've got two low points in the same price area, you need to draw a line across and extend it outwards. If the market comes down and touches that line, that is the price that we want to buy shares at. So what you need to do is look for two low points, draw a line and extend it outwards. So let's look at this on a real stock market chart now. Here's one we made earlier. We've put in two to three buy lines on this chart. What we would say is you can use the low of only small little down moves like this one here to draw buy lines. The market come down to 62.5 pence as you can see on the right hand side of the screen what price it's at. It then bounced so we know that that is an area of interest but we don't know if we can use it yet. When the market comes down to 62.5 pence again and bounces we know then that at 62.5 pence which is the low here we can use that to draw a line across to connect the next low at the same price. We extend that line outwards and if the market comes back down to touch that line at 62.5 pence we can consider buying the shares and if you did you would have been able to sell them a little bit later at a pound a share. That would have been a very good trade just by drawing a buy line. We can discuss the other buy lines in this chart. The market moved down, hit a low point and bounced again at 57 pence per share. So we know that is an area of interest now, but we need to see if the market bounces at 57 pence again to see if we can use it to draw any trend lines. The market hit around 57 pence just here and then the market bounced higher. So we know at 57 pence we could potentially draw a buy line across. So we connect the few low points that there are at 57 pence and extend it outwards. If the market comes down to touch that area again, then we know that we can buy the shares and that's exactly what happened in this instance. We did have a buy line a little bit higher though. Would this be a buying opportunity? Because a lot of you would say, well actually that's a buy line, we should be buying. There is one other factor that you will learn as this series goes on as to why on that last occasion you should not have bought on the higher buy line. You will learn this in the ebooks and other tutorials, but for now, 57 pence, we drew that line in and it worked, so it shows you the power of these horizontal buy lines. Well, we hope you enjoyed these short clips. You now know the basics on how to draw buy lines on stock market charts. What you need to do now is you need to download a free ebook from our website entitled Buy and Sell Lines. It's packed full of information, much like what you've watched on this video clip. Also, more advanced features on how to use 
bylines and how to draw bylines as well. We will see you all on the next tutorial which is an introduction to drawing cell lines. Thank you for watching.